don't pack your plantain like this, don't store it in the freezer like this. When it's time to fry, you won't be able to get them out. It will be all blocked How you together. Said that you ain't got no Tomato, pepper, and um, some other food stuff. So today I'll be showing you how I preserve them, most especially the plantain. But let me just give you a little hint of how I preserve my other vegetables. So here I have a Scotch bonnet, Scotch bonnet pepper. <laughs> Scotch bonnet pepper. So this one, for this one, I'll just blend. I'll just blend all of it, put it in containers and store in the freezer. So each time I want to use, I'll just bring out one, close it and I'll use. And I have here some fresh tomatoes. I bought two boxes of it. So for this one, I'll be blending as well. For this one, I'll boil, I'll boil it and blend. I boil one carton and then, then roast one carton and then. Why I'm doing that is because I'll, I'll the one I'll be boiling, I'll use it to make stew. I'll use it for my stew. Then the one I'll be roasting, I'll be using it for my jollof rice. Also the the tache. I'll do same with this one. I'll boil one and roast one carton. I got two of it. So I'll use one. For, I'll be using one, the one I bought for stew, then the one I roast for jello fries. So that's all. But what I'll be showing you guys more today is the plantain. So I'll show you how I preserve my plantain. It it usually lasts up to four, three to four months for me. Yeah, when I when I preserve the full box of it, but. Today I'll be preserving just half, half of the box, and I'll leave half so that we can be eating from there. So I'll show you what to do now. I'll show you how I do it. Let's keep this aside. I'll continue this one later. So I'll wash my hands first. For the plantain is your baking paper and the lid trays and you need some ziplock bags. Those are the things not going to need for preserving this plantain. Preserving your plantain. So, all I was doing, I said I was doing, I was there, uh, going to do just half of the box. So, I'm gonna start now. So, for this one, you can cut your plantain in different shapes. You 
can cut your plantain in different shapes how you want to use them. For those that want that like using plantain to make beans, you can cut in cubes. But me, I, I usually cut. I usually do cut mine. I usually do the normal method we all know. So if you want to cut in cubes, or those that make this to do. Yes. I just put them in different shapes. But today I'll be doing just one particular shape. So I'm I'm laying the uh, baking paper on the tray. Don't worry, I'm done. I'll show you. guys this is all we have now these two layers here the first one and the second one you can add the third one if you wish but make sure they are not closely they are not together just try to separate them a bit so i've got two layers here i'm going to do the third one I'm, i'll have only three layers on this batch so after that i'll just put it in the freezer maybe by tomorrow 
or in the night I'll bring them out I'll also show you how I pack them in the bag so I'll be putting the third one now then I'll put it in the freezer So guys, this is what we have. I'll be putting this in the freezer now, so tomorrow you should be ready to pack in the freezer bag. Yeah. So I'll show you that. I'll show you how I pack it in the bag. Okay? Hi guys! Welcome back. So guys, this is the next morning. And my plantain is frozen. I just got them out from the freezer now. You can see it's all frozen, ready to be packed in a ziplock bag. So let's do that now, okay? First, I need to wash my hands.
Guys, this is it. So when you're putting it in the freezer, then you have to try and make it very flat. This way. And make it should be very flat. Then take out. Make sure you take out all the air in the bag. Then you flip. Then while storing it in the freezer, don't put it this way. Try and lay it flat like this. Make sure it's like this. Make sure it lay it flat like this in the in your freezer. Then when you want to fry, once you get it back out from the freezer, you just put it in the oil direct as it's frozen. Don't allow it to be. Don't let it defrost. Just put it like that in, in the in your oil. Remember, keep it flat like this in your freezer. So this is one bag. There it is. So I'll do. I'll do the remaining one. And I'll show you. So, so for those of us abroad, most times we buy plantain in bulk and they get spot easily. You can try this method. It works fine for me. I've been using it for years now and it works perfectly well for me. The plantain comes out. When I fry it, it comes out the same. So you can try this method instead of getting scared that your plantain will go bad in, in less than a few days and you will be forced to eat plantain when you don't want to eat. You can just try this method. It, as I said before, it lasts for me three to four months or more than depending on how we eat it. So you can try this method. I know there are some other methods of uh, storing the plantain. You can just put it in the fridge. But I tried that one. It didn't really work for me. Within a few days, everything went black and I know it didn't go bad. But me seeing it changing color so quickly, I was so scared that I might lose the plantain. So I decided not to try that method anymore I usually do this one and I had I buy in bulk I usually buy one box of plantain when we want to buy so I'll just prep it like this store it in the freezer and I use it whenever I want to and also the cube the, if you want to do it in cubes too you can also cut in cubes if you want to use it to make maybe this dodo 
um, beans or anything you can cut in any shape you want and store it in the freezer anytime you want to use it, just use it it comes out very nice and like a fresh plantain so you can try this method and see how it goes and also tell me in the comment section what method you use in preserving your plantain